Welcome to this week's Digital News Roundup. All the latest in digital and tech news from around the globe in just 60 seconds, giving you a glimpse into the future. Check out our website for more information on the stories we're about to tell you. Go! After a long delay, it would seem that Facebook's clear history privacy tool is finally coming to the platform, and it's expected to launch later in 2019. Staying on the Facebook theme, they are updating their video ecosystem and we will now see an introduction of a premium ad service for their video watch platform. Creative platform Pinterest has updated its search policy in an effort to tackle the spread of misinformation campaigns on the anti-vax movement and they're calling it Cure. <laughs> Irony. Hmm. One tool we love here at Giant Towers is the Google's Test My Site tool. It has been redesigned to include speed trends, competition comparison, shareable reports, and so much more. Good news, a new AI-powered grammar and spelling checker is being added to all docs in G Suite, but at the moment, it's only available for business users. <coughs> and last but not least, it seems that Netflix could have a brand new rival. The BBC and ITV have confirmed plans for a new streaming service, especially for UK viewers. And what have they called it? Britbox. I mean, what is this, in the 90s? If you're interested in the news, make sure you read the full news stories on our website, click the link in the description, or just search Sleeping Giant Media News. Have a look around the screen for the share, the retweet, or some other cool looking button to help spread the word of what's happening this week. I've been Sean Staunton. Um, no, no. I've been Danny Windsor for Digital News Roundup, live at Giant Towers. I'm better than Sean. La 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 la.